Accordance Quick Start. This is Podcast 93. It's at the basic level and designed for brand new users of Accordance Bible Software. Welcome to Accordance, and congratulations on purchasing the best Bible software on the planet. We know you're anxious to begin using it, and this podcast is designed to get you up and running just as soon as possible. If you're a longtime Accordance user, you'll find this podcast perfect for sharing Accordance with others. It uses little more than the basic starter collection, but it illustrates just how easy Accordance is to use to do a basic Bible study right out of the box. In the interest of saving time, we've moved quickly in this podcast. It is, after all, a quick start. Remember that you can pause, rewind, and watch any section again, just in case you didn't quite catch something the first time. Whenever we launch Accordance, it's a good idea to check for application and content updates, as well as any new modules we will need to install. All three of these are done under the Accordance menu. The app update and content updates will run even if we aren't logged in, but Easy Install requires us to enter our username and password. I recommend saving that information to the keychain. It just makes life easier. By default, Accordance opens to a single workspace displaying a Bible text, though power users may want to change this in their preferences. We call this text the search text. If we'd rather switch to a different search text, we can do so using this drop-down menu. Your list of resources will look a bit different from mine as I own quite a few different Bibles and texts, which I've organized into subfolders. We can add other texts or study tools to this pane using the Add Parallel button. Parallel resources scroll together, making study easier as they are always open to the correct place. Let's add a King James Bible. The go-to box is probably the fastest way to navigate to a specific place in the Bible, whether we choose to use the drop-down menu or simply type in the verse reference. Using the go-to box means the entire Bible is still displayed, as we can see by scrolling. We can use our cursor to access a variety of details just by hovering over specific places. Since both of these Bibles have been tagged with Strong's key numbers, we can see the Hebrew words they translate, along with basic definitions. If we hover over a superscript, we see the Bible note or cross-reference associated with it. Clicking either will open that reference tool in a separate zone, where we can read each verse by simply hovering over the reference. No more flipping endless pages. All these verse references are hypertext links, so clicking a reference opens a text pane directly to that verse. Click on the icon in the upper right-hand corner to expand the zone. Click the Show All Text box to read the verse in context. We can even add a parallel translation to this zone. And then click Compare to see the differences between translations. Shrinking the zone is just as easy, and when we're done with it, we can dismiss it by clicking the icon in its top left-hand corner. Now, let's add a reference tool, like the IVP New Bible Commentary, included in every starter collection. Hmm, that font seems a bit small to me. No problem, we can enlarge it just by clicking here. Now try that with a print resource. We can also adjust the boundaries of any zone or pane just by clicking and dragging. Customizing the appearance of our Bibles and tools is easy in accordance. We use the search entry box to search for specific verses or verses with specific words. Let's look up the word anoint. Notice that accordance now displays only the 33 verses containing the word anoint. That's very different from using the go to box where the entire Bible is displayed. Now, we can jump between these specific verses using either the Go To Box menu or the navigation arrows at the bottom of the search results pane. We can even scroll. And notice the helpful little hints that pop up if we linger over an icon. Remember, when in search mode, Accordance only displays the results of the search, not the entire Bible. This allows us to focus on just our search results. However, we can use this slider to adjust the number of verses around each hit verse, from one or two to the entire Bible. 
Shrinking the context is just as easy. A new user preference lets users adjust the appearance of their search results. I have mine set on the old accordance default, which I've just described. However, if you'd prefer to see your searches display the entire Bible by default, check your search preferences under the Accordance menu. Here, we can adjust context to our liking. This is also the place to select the Bible that appears when Accordance first opens. Other accordance preferences allow users to customize to their heart's content. For instance, the font, color, and size of their various Bibles, and the background on which they appear. Let's get rid of this extra zone and the commentary. In fact, let's also remove the Instant Details window at the bottom by clicking its toolbar icon. After all, some of you may be using netbooks or MacBook Airs with smaller monitors. You may need this space. Want to see different translations as an interlinear? Just click this interlinear icon. Now, let's add a Hebrew Bible, and we can see Accordance's cross-highlighting feature, which allows us to locate matching words in different tag translations, and even different languages. Notice that it includes the interlinear. It doesn't matter which translation other people are using in our Bible study group, we've got them covered. While we're still in search mode, let's look at a pie chart of our results. We search for the English word anoint in the ESV, but Accordance also lets us break out all the different Hebrew and Greek words translated by that word. It's also very easy to print or export directly from Accordance. Want to copy that pie chart and use it on a handout? No problem. Just use the regular copy and paste method. Let's open our library using this toolbar icon. Then open the Erdman's Bible Dictionary directly from the library. Since it opens in its own zone, it scrolls separately from the main text. Here's a nice photo of an olive press. Clicking on it opens it in a picture window. Let's add it to our paper. There's an even better resource for images, the Bible Lands Photo Guide 3. A sample of this resource is included in every copy of Accordance, and the full version is available for purchase. Its pictures are even better than those in a Bible dictionary, and we can search by caption for exactly the image we need. Here's one of an ancient olive tree. We'll use that as well. The consistent use of a few different keyboard commands in Accordance gives us quick access to its features and makes the program easy to learn. A control click or right click just about anywhere opens a menu of appropriate actions. Clicking on this word, for example, allows us to search quickly for the Hebrew word behind the word olive no matter how the ESV translation renders it. Holding the Option key down while we click on this same word gives us a pop-up with the original language word along with some other basic information. Adding the Command key to the Option key gives us its definition. In this case, there's two definitions, one for the Hebrew word and one from a Bible dictionary. We can click this icon to copy all that information for inclusion in our paper. We can use the same keyboard combinations to get information on the related Hebrew word. Notice that this time, the definition is from a different Hebrew lexicon. Triple-clicking on the word will open that lexicon directly to the correct definition. Holding the Command key down while we triple-click opens it in its own workspace, where we'll have a bit more room. Now, this particular lexicon doesn't have a very good definition of this word. Let's just switch search tools, the same way we changed search text earlier, to one of the standards in the field. Hit the return key to rerun the search. There, that's better. We'll close this workspace and return to our regular one, and now copy this verse. I trust you're noticing just how easy it is for us to gather the raw material for any Bible study, paper, or sermon. 
Pressing the Command Option key while we're over a verse reference opens a pop-up with a relevant section of our top commentary. We could copy this to our paper too, but I think you've probably gotten the idea by now. Finally, just one more thing. What if we want to skip all this study and just have our daily devotions? Well, Accordance has us covered there too. We just click the daily reading icon in the toolbar. A dedicated devotional workspace opens with a devotional on the left and the Bible passage on the right. As we've just seen, Accordance is quick, simple, and easy to use while offering a wide range of Bible study options. Accordance is available for Mac and in fall 2013 for PC as well. How much does it cost? Well, Accordance's starter collection is only $49.95. Its Biblical Languages package is only $299.95. And well-rounded, complete collections for Bible teachers and scholars begin around $500. We even offer a free app for iPhones and iPads called Bible Study with Accordance. Imagine having a complete Bible study library at your fingertips wherever you go. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Music